Hey guys, today we're gonna do a weird one. This is all about man purses, or a bag that a man would use to carry all of his stuff. European carry-all, if you watch Seinfeld. So I've had maybe, maybe 10 different bags, smaller ones, because I like to do minimal. Uh, I don't really like carrying a bunch of stuff around with me, but here and uh, where I live, it's so congested and so dirty <laughs> that I have to carry around uh, certain things, like at least tissue paper, because a lot of toilets don't have toilet paper. Uh, alcohol, because I like to spray that seat down. Yeah, I'm not gonna just put my butt on a random public toilet. That's gross. You get the idea. So here's a leather thing I got a while back from AliExpress. And, you know, it, it's wearing out. It was cheap, so I don't expect much out of it. Um, and it's supposed to be ergonomic. You know, it fits around... I guess I'll show you. Hold on. Well, hopefully you can see. Uh, it it does feel pretty good on the body. The The issue is, look how thick it is. You know, I'll show you what I have in here a afterwards. But it's just so wide that it, I don't like it. So what I'm looking for is something really narrow. Like, close to the chest. But maybe it's longer. And so we'll see what happens there. But if you're really interested in the width of this doesn't really bother you, I think this a design like this is pretty good. Uh, you can flick it around your back really quick, or obviously access all the stuff that you need. So that's this one here. So this next one is an ergonomic bag as well. This is a name brand bag, but oddly there's no brand on it. So I, I can't even tell you what brand it is. Anyways... Uh, they come in different sizes. I think this is maybe the medium size. And uh, again, it uh, can be flicked around to your back really quick. And then, it can, you know, flicked around to the front really quick. So, it does its job. I like it. But again, uh, the way it's designed, it can be very, very wide. And the, the street markets here, they're so tight together that I feel like I'm going to knock over a bunch of stuff. Or actually, I bumped into people with my bag when I just turn like this. And so again, that's why I'm looking for something more low profile. Alright, let's take a look inside these things. Alright, so what's inside here? Things that I carry around. Oh, a charge cable for my phone. Don't want a dead battery. I very often would have headphones, not for music, but when I'm shopping and I'm looking at something expensive, I'll usually look up YouTube and see if someone someone's reviewed it. So I want to, you know, listen to YouTube reviews, but not have everyone else have to suffer through that. So, so those are some uh, medicines, vitamins, medicine. Here, I just sewed up my own little organizer. It's just random cloth, you know, a pen. I guess I could get rid of this. I used to have this because I would sharpie the prices of used toys. In case you haven't noticed, my channel's mostly about used toys, Kyosho cars and stuff. So I'd write the prices down on the bags. This is a little toothpick. I used to get a lot of, I like to go to meat buffets. It's not good, but the Korean buffets here are really inexpensive, so I like to go to those every, every now and then. So that, oh, yeah, mints, just to be nice to people, you know. <laughs> uh, and then mosquito spray, because mosquitoes love me, and I live in the tropics. So I'm always getting bitten by mosquitoes, and people do die here from dengue fever and Zika and all that stuff. So uh, definitely mosquito spray. All right, so that's that one. This one also has just a waterproof bag for when it rains. I also have a little tripod, because I... Very often do videos with my DJI Osmo thing, and sometimes I'm doing videos about eating food. Not on this channel, I have a different channel about living in Thailand. Ah, what else? A carabiner, because very often I'll have multiple shopping bags, and it's just easier on the hands to carry bags with, with this kind of handle, with all the bags attached this way. So that's a little trick tip for you guys. You don't need an industrial one like that. Oh, COVID. You know, I'm not going to carry gloves anymore. I'm past that stuff. I've had four vaccinations. If I die from COVID, that's just the way it's going to be. A bag hanger, though. Because, uh, 
you don't want to put anything down on the, the streets here. They're so disgusting. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so, oh, sorry, my cat is messing about. Let's see the top pocket, yep. So tissue paper is a must. This is probably the most important thing if you ever come to a third world country, to, if you want to be clean, that is. And then this is uh, filled with alcohol, so I wipe toilet seats down with that. More tissue, uh, battery, a single cell, 18650. Charge for my phone. Okay, so those are some basic things that I like to carry around with me. Um, and this pretty much has very similar stuff. This one's a little bigger, so I sometimes will have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Because every, everything's really sweet here, and uh, my teeth get cavities. It's very hot in the tropics, so sometimes I'll carry this little... Uh, Microfiber towel works well. Another bag hanger again. This one I actually went and added some material, some extra pockets here. So same old stuff. Uh, mosquito spray, alcohol spray, uh, sorry, some sore throat medicine, charge cable, uh, an actual charger, and to to tissue paper. Just a small packs. All right, let's see if there's anything. Oh, nail clippers. Nope, this is a tripod, toothpicks. Oh, and this one. I ride the public transport all the time, trains, and very often you have smelly people, mostly tourists. Thai people smell nice. It's the tourists, people, those hippies that don't take showers for like three weeks. They smell absolutely disgusting. So I literally have to put this under my nose to keep from throwing up at the scent of other people. A little DJI tripod. I think that's everything. Yeah, I even got rid of the pen to try to reduce stuff. So this is these are my really amateur hour sewing efforts to just create more pockets. You know, uh, this is just had one pocket before, but it's nice to segment things so you can carry little bits. You know, so I'm going to do the same with this new idea that may or may not work, of course. So that idea is to take these little cheap fanny packs, jogging fanny packs. I bought these off AliExpress. I'm not going to share the listing because as chances are it's going to go away anyways. But if you look at one that's really cheap, I think these are like $2 or something each, maybe even less than 2 bucks. But they're made of nylon. They have a headphone printing here. Uh, unfortunately, the band is elastic, and you know that elastic stuff doesn't last long. Ideally, this would be nylon, but I can always sew my own. And then the back side has uh, got a nice 3D mesh to try to keep moisture away, I guess. And then there's only one zipper. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's interesting. It's a little... I don't know what that... Oh, that's probably for the headphone thing. Yeah, yeah, never mind. So one zipper. On the inside, we have one pocket here, one separator, just of this thin nylon stuff, and then the actual back side of the front, which has this like uh, checkerboard pattern. So what I like about this, off the bat, is I'm going to sew some pockets. This little liner, I'm literally going to sew. Like I'm going to take this tube and just sew around it, you know, so I'll have a perfect pocket for this particular bottle. Keep in mind, the more you do that, the shorter this should become because everything's going to become thicker. But the thickest thing I have right now is this DJI camera. So that's a lot thinner than the other two bags that I showed you, right? Now, in order to kind of make up for the volume of this big wide bag, that's why I bought two. So essentially... The intention is I'm going to cut off one end of each. I'm going to sew these two together and basically make a bandolier bag. Maybe if it works out well, buy a third one and make a third pocket. And all this stuff should be only that wide at the most. All right, so let's see if this works out. So one thing to keep in mind is, you know, this zipper, it actually, there's extra space here. But you have to have enough zipper open to get stuff out of that space. So I wouldn't suggest you actually sew a pocket really close to the end of this zipper. 
because you'll have a hard time getting stuff out. So maybe I'm going to put this tissue in here, but only that far. Or maybe actually I'll just keep this first half uh, as a pocket on its own. That might be a better idea. So naturally i got to fold this part back. Alright, so we're just going to so right down the middle of this thing. It's not going to look pretty, but it's black, and I don't think most people will even notice. I, I, I won't, and I'm the one making it. Okay. I'm going to do the uh, sewing of the bags together at the very end, so I'm not cutting off these straps yet. I just want to get the inside done first. So let's see. If this is halfway through now... Yeah, I think that's actually probably a good good idea to keep one of them just half open. Now these, this side I'm going to do tighter because I want these to be the first three things I access. The mosquito spray, the alcohol spray, and maybe some nail clippers. So... I don't need to have this tissue paper in here anymore. <coughs> but since this is my the default size of mosquito spray, I need to actually pop this in here and then basically sew around this object. So even though it's tight on this object now, it's actually going to end up looser because there's a little bit of a spacing here in this metal foot. You'll, you'll see in a moment. Oh, it's literally hitting that bottle. So just going to go with that. It's actually probably overkill doing three passes. It's totally unnecessary. Okay, so now let's see. There's extra like wiggle room for the actual object. And that's basically because the foot of my sewing, you know, there's a good centimeter of distance between the needle and the edge. So that's creating some slack for me automatically. So that worked out pretty well. Now again, if you get really close to this end, you might not have an easy time getting things out. So I'm going to actually test fit. Maybe I'll just leave this alone, actually. So really, just two pockets. Actually, I'm going to put the mosquito spray in this, this one here because it's a wider bottle. Maybe I could double up nail clippers in that. So there we go. So I'm going to continue doing this. I, I think you get the general gist of uh, at least making the pockets. Actually, you got to trim this stuff off afterwards and then we'll uh, sew the two two bags together and see what what the deal is with the straps so I have to get rid of these two straps since I'm gonna sew them if you want to do a you know amateur just cut it off and you'll be fine or you actually would have to go in here and uh, de-thread the thing uh, it takes a little effort of course but I don't know what these are officially called, but this is specifically meant to get in here and cut up, uh, you know, sewing. Another thing you could try doing, if you don't want to invest in this, is you just put a lot of tension here, and you can see, right, that. Let's see if I can do it. And then you cut very carefully that thread. Although this is not easy to do with one hand. I'm trying to pull this apart. Yeah, see, so that kind of stuff. So I'm going to continue to de-thread these, and then we'll sew the bags together. So by cutting this, it actually freed up this area. If you see here, 
this is still sewn, my finger stopping there, but here where there's no threading, my finger's now coming to the end. You could theoretically flip this whole bag inside out and sew this, you know, that part up again, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm just gonna sew right over it. It's just not worth the extra volume there. Uh, yeah, so now making this look pretty though, that's a tough one. Maybe I could actually feed it into the other one. Like that, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just do something like this. First thing I'm going to do is sew these two back together. Pretty, but I'm just gonna cover it up anyways. Maybe the next one I'll do better. debating do I double stitch it both ways maybe but do I do it this way or that way I actually want to keep the headphones on the bottom maybe I would do it this way so the wire can come out here So that wasn't the right needle to use. I would really should use a thicker needle, but it actually did go through both bags, just really messy. So again, there's obviously professional ways to do stuff, but I'm just trying to do an experiment here and see if this works well. So although this bag looks long, it's not. If I put these two together, No way. This is way too short. This is, yeah, you need to add an extra strap. You're going to have to add a different strap if you want this idea to work. So, yeah, let me come back after doing that. Before I show you the bag that did work, I'm going to show you the bags that didn't work. In particular, this one, you can see a design online. It has two reflective stripes and then three zippers, three pockets, and then the headphone hole is right in the middle. Uh, this one's a little flashy, of course, because these are literally reflective, and then the zippers are chromed, and the handle has a white thing. 
The reason why this bag is no good is two of the zippers don't even work and I didn't even put anything in them. One of them broke. Uh, where is it? The, the handle just broke off immediately. The actual like part that holds the, the tab snapped because it's the cheapest metal I think I've ever seen. Now this one, same thing. It broke and I didn't even use it. So I don't know what's going on with this zipper, but it's like, look, I just... That easily, I just broke the whole zipper in half. Uh, hold on, look at that. This is really hard to do. I'm looking in a mirror. But uh, with almost no force, I broke that zipper off. Let's see if I can break another one. Mm, that one's pretty strong. Oh, no, it's not. That one just fell out. So even if the zipper was strong, it, the handle fell out. Uh, what about this one? Mm, this one's strong. All right, but anyways... You can't have zippers breaking without even using the thing, right? And it, again, it looks a little bit too uh, flashy, uh, so it's not my thing. One thing I realized, though, when sewing this up is you want to sew these bags at an angle. You don't want to sew them all flat because your body is a curve, right? So the more you angle this like this, there's a better chance it'll just wrap around your body. So I have it angled maybe 5 or 10 degrees. If you look at the zipper, they're not parallel. You know, there's a kink there because of the angle of my body. But again, you want to avoid this particular bag because it is no good at all. It's just a total waste of like, granted it's only like $6, so no big deal. So back to the zippers I was showing earlier. It just did work. Uh, I ended up getting four of them. Let me put it on. So I have it, because I'm right-handed, I want to have the flat of the hip pack towards my neck and then the curve out there because it's just easier for me to open and close the zip. So the lazy way I did most of these is I just cut off the elastic and then I just overlap them. Uh, maybe I have to get closer to the mirror for you to see. Hopefully you can see that. There's an overlap and uh, that's it. I just sewed right through both bags. Uh, there was one point where I tried to do it nicer, right here. I literally cut the things open and I, oh, and I sewed it more professionally, although it's not even professional at all. It's more seamless, but it's a lot more work. If, I guess now they know this as a working functional bag, it's maybe a, nah. I mean, if you have the patience do it, it'll look nicer than just overlapping bags like that. But again, I have the bags at a certain angle, so the thing kind of wraps around my torso as I spin it. I could probably just get five bags and not have the two remaining straps, but uh, I realized that these brands are using different fabrics. So I ordered one from one shop, and here's a close-up of the fabric. So it's kind of... Uh, I don't know, it's got like a, a square pattern, I guess a rectangular pattern to it. But this one does also, the thing is, it's a different rectangular pattern. Hopefully you can see. Hmm. Let me put them like this. It's a slightly different black as well. I guess that's the best angle I can show you. You can see this one's darker black. This has more s squares, squarish, I guess, is pattern of a pattern. Whereas this is more of a blended quilt. I don't know, quilted. It's just different, right? So if you want to have the same exact bags, you want to order all of them from the same store. Just a. But physically, they look the same. You know, physically, the zipper and this little seam line here seem to be the same. But, uh, yeah, it's just the actual material they used. Okay. So, yeah, this thing works pretty well. Grant, I've only used it a few weeks, but the zippers didn't break yet. Let me put it back on. Uh, so... Gonna have some relatively large things in here. I put my wallet in one of these. 
So this is a pretty bulky wallet, right? I have a, a shopping bag. I usually don't carry the wallet in here. I have it in my pocket, but I just wanted to show the, the size of the hip bag. And again, if I, I forget, it's been a few months since I did the first half of the video. This actual bag, the main zipper is almost eight inches long. Hopefully you can see that. Granted, it's a, a reflection. Oh boy. No, that's too close. So it's eight inches long or so. And then uh, the depth of it, somewhere along, around a little over four inches, it looks like. So that's the size of each bag. And the main thing is, it's very close to my body. You know, this is a, a tripod in my DJI camera here. But if you look, I mean, look how, that's just a pen and some markers. This is another shopping bag. And then this is a bunch of tissues. So yeah, the thickest thing I have going on is my DJI camera. But that's a lot thinner than those other bags I showed you, right? And this, uh, aesthetically, is the less obvious. The only thing that's really showing up is the white uh, headphone icon. Otherwise, it's a black bag. No one's actually looked at me in an odd way. If fashion, getting attention or not getting attention matters to you, I'd rather be a little more, uh, less cons conspicuous. So I, I prefer the plain black. So that is it. A strange experiment, but my man purse is now complete. A low-profile man purse. And I guess at some point in time, I can always just cut this strap off and add a fifth bag, and then it's not an issue. Uh, I know long-term, this elasticated band is going to, you know, it's going to start falling apart. So, but that'll, that'll be a couple, at least a year or two down the road. Thank you for watching. Very random. Uh, appreciate it. Take care.